Hello friends welcome back to Biotech Simplified today we will discuss about another interesting topic which is chromosome banding so chromosome banding simply means that the chromosome is present in the form of bands so how come these bands are formed when we use a particular staining technique we get them in the form of bands so here some of the bands are darker in shade whereas some is lighter in shade so as you can see in the diagram it is an ideogram of human chromosomes so you can see that some portions of the chromosome is dark in color whereas some portions are light in color so this alternating light and dark coloring of the chromosome is known as chromosome banding and this technique is due to the stains we use so why is chromosome banding a important technique this is an important technique because through chromosome banding we can identify abnormalities such as chromosome breakage loss duplication as well as translocations so what is a band so a band is a part of a chromosome that can be clearly distinguished from its adjacent segments by the presence of dark or light with various banding methods so such a part of chromosome is known as one band so a banding technique is classified based on two methods that is based on gc and at rich regions and also based on the constitutive heterochromatin region so these are the two technique in which a banding is classified now let us discuss about the types of chromosome banding the four common types of chromosome banding are g banding r banding q banding and c banding apart from these four there are other bandings like n banding but these four are the most common types of chromosome banding and now let us discuss each type of banding separately first the g banding the g banding is the most common and basic type of banding and it is done first by treating it with trypsin then with a gimsa stain so the diagram that you see right now is of a g banding so when we discuss the staining pattern in g banding the at rich regions are more darkly stained that is the gimsai stain is more in at rich region whereas in gc that is glycine cytosin region is lessly stained so now let us discuss the next type of banding which is r banding so in this banding it is first heated and then stained with gimsa stain the diagram that you see right now is of r banding and in the case of r banding it is a reverse of g banding and this is because the gc region that is glycine cytosine region is darkly stained whereas the adenine thymine region is denatured by heat so the next type of banding is c banding so from the word c itself we can understand it is staining of the syndromia so here the syndromia is stained so it is done by first treating it with an acid and then followed by an alkaline prior to the g banding so this diagram shows c banding so as you can see in the diagram clearly it goes and stains the syndromia region so the last banding that we are going to discuss is q banding so in this banding it is first treated with a stain which is quinacrine and then it gave rise to a fluorescent band and this is then viewed under a fluorescent microscope so here 
This diagram shows a cube banding and in the case of a cube banding, the stain that is used is quinacrine and it gave rise to a fluorescent bands. So as you can see in the diagram, clearly it is fluorescence color. So I hope the concept of chromosome banding is clear. For more such videos, do subscribe to our channel Biotech Simplified.